Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and welcome to a new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Today I'm going to show you how to make these really interesting retro effects uh, using gradients and using blend. Check this out, this one was a wild one. I, I think I used like a thousand uh, 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 copies. I'm going to uncheck it. Which one is like which one? I think it's this one, yeah. Check this out. It's a wild, but it was a lot of fun doing it. So uh, I can't. I gotta admit that. Um, anyways, I'm gonna leave this like this, locked. Create something new, and uh, let's jump into this. But before we do this, make sure uh, to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. Uh, I almost forgot this, so uh, make sure to do that. Anyways, we're in the, uh, at the new artboard. I'm just gonna place this somewhere, I don't know, somewhere here. Okay, uh, let me select the logo. I also decided to make, uh, you know, the less edgy, like uh, these parts around it a little more. So the effects, it is going to look like different. Uh, I'm gonna create a new copy. So press Control C, then Control F. Or you can go to the edit and paste in front. The main idea is paste another copy on the front. Now we're going to increase the uh, stroke or we can go to object and go to path offset path. And, you know, make an uh, outline like that. I'm going to increase this. Um, thinking on like 18, 20, let me check it, like 18. So uh, to have like a decent distance between, uh, you know, the original logo and to have a decent distance uh, between, you know, you get the main idea. I'm gonna click Unite. So it's gonna make a one single form out of it. If you don't have the Pathfinder, then go to Object. Wait, wait, sorry, Windows, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. Uh, now we're gonna re remove unnecessary elements because we just want the outline silhouette because that is going to take, you know, that's gonna make the effect. So if you have like interior stuff like these and you apply that effect with the blend, it's gonna look weird. And we don't want that. I don't even want this thing. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna put it something like this, but no. I'm just gonna delete that and united okay uh now what the hell okay i'm just gonna unite this again i'm just gonna select for you know the white for the fill and go to stroke select the stroke here and select the black i'm gonna increase the stroke size a little more and of course go to the stroke option if you don't have the stroke option go to windows and select the stroke from here uh <clears throat> right now the stroke is in the center actually i'm gonna place this down how to place this down is you press ctrl plus shift plus uh the down bracket you can see down in the left corner what is the shortcut take that in mind it's a very important shortcut okay uh now I want the stroke to be outside because right now it's in the center and it's creating these really, really sharp edges. It's like really edgy and I don't like that. So I just gonna go and hit this, align stroke to outside. So now we got like less edge, looks clean. I'm gonna increase even more the stroke, okay. Now it looks pretty nice actually. Uh, now I'm gonna create a new copy and paste it in front, so Control c Control f and now press and hold Shift plus Alt and increase the size until you get out with the outline, so the, all, the, all, all the outlines are out. Um, but I'm also thinking to make this in a square, so it's like not uh, wide, uh, right now the artboard it's, it's uh, wide. And I'm going to change the side of the artboard. I'm going to press Shift plus O. And as you can see, the width and the height of the artboard, I'm going to go and copy the height of the artboard to the width. So, yeah, because I'm going to change the um, Control C, Control F. I, w I wonder how many copies I have, actually just two. Okay, I'm going to go out like this because like my logo is like more squared also and it's, it fits perfectly into a square like this check it out so from here i want this layer to be on bottom so i'm gonna press ctrl shift plus uh 
left bracket again as you can see down in the left uh, corner how is the shortcut it goes down you also can do some magic trick like increase a little bit more this stroke to be even more interesting i can, I can increase it to 10 this one is on five and now i'm gonna select both of these without this logo so it's with only these two with the strokes i'm gonna go to object blend make and we're gonna double click on here on the blend tool select specified steps increase the number and as you can see these are getting thinner like it's it's a pretty nice effect i think but i might change it back i don't know uh i'm thinking to, to choose some color palette after this uh, it really depends i selected i did some retro colors going on i think like this one is pretty nice it starts with the light color so you're like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh colors i'm gonna go back uh where was that the blend tool we got seven eleven minus two it's nine so this should be good and for every each we're gonna put a, a separate color you know I, I constantly get like uh you know feedback like hey man can you just basically you don't you don't need to recolor it separately because you just can color it with the blend tool with all mumbo jumbo colors but that's not true it's really not uh you need to do it manually if you are selecting multiple kind of colors like rainbow color and all the stuff you can blend it with only two colors or you can blend it with all kinds but that will not get this result that's the problem it's a very limited the blend option and uh you didn't quite get that anyways i'm gonna make this uh stroke profile to 10 so i'm gonna double click and increase the thickness because i think nah i won't look better i'm gonna decrease it so i'm gonna go back and to the stroke this might be better i don't even know i got a little like this anyways and now i'm gonna ex expand go to object expand appearance um and go and expand again what it should have been happened like this but this is good also it got expanded multiple times but anyways um i'm gonna ungroup and ungroup it again and we're gonna recolor these so which was was the you know color palette this was the color palette I'm gonna go to stroke i mean what is that feel just recolor these there you go that looks pretty neat might be better to decrease a little bit what's this imperfections damn so with that yeah because i expanded like uh, it should have been on, on the bigger size or a different size but anyways this side came out it didn't came out really perfect like the other ones like these baddies right here because these are really clean but uh, eventually this is how you get the retro effect which you know with the central effect so yeah go check it out also like uh, see what you can do and uh, send me those nice artworks so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other videos as well and as always have a great day bye bye